I need a man, and that is why I am doing this. You may find this contest completely out there, or would you like to wake up tomorrow in a beautiful countryside farmhouse with me next to you? A three-story quaint Victorian farmhouse with an eight-foot poster bed and a cozy little fireplace. Well, I have been told that I must be bound to a man to own property in Wisconsin, and that is the gist of this proposal. How it all began? Well, that doesn't matter, but how it all ends could be with you. The town of Halley, Wisconsin said that a woman cannot own a $20 million commercial property unless she is married. Besides the ability to work hard and invest exceptionally well, I am also a great cook specializing in smoked meats, homemade pasta, bread, and pies. And yes, they did tell me that my place is in the kitchen, baking chocolate chip cookies, wearing nothing but an apron and high heels. So, is Pete Lehman a peeping Tom? I am an intelligent, college-educated Mensa, and have worked on U.S. military battle analysis, etc., working on a master's in diplomacy, peace negotiating, and military history. I scored as the number one highest GPA honor student in both the colleges of business and economics in the Cal State system. I have been interviewed by NASA from 31,545 students and wrote and testified for just volunteering as an interested private citizen on 18 FBI case convictions, 14 bank robbers, and a child molester cyber ring. I'm always interested in reading and singing at a local rest home or visiting hospitalized veterans. Now you are probably asking yourself the question, what in the world does she need me for, right? No, wrong. I need you because I need a solid guy to stand with me. The chauvinists I am dealing with have threatened my life and my young daughter's life. They have chased us with guns in our fields and jumped through our windows terrorizing us. They kidnapped both of us several times and hid my daughter in dark vacant county offices. They broke into our house 14 times and stole all of our personal belongings. We were released with a threat that they would kill us if we told anyone. Because the bottom line is, David Wogernese wants our land, and Pete Lehman has been hired to help him get it. Our land consists of the best commercial property in the Midwest. It lies on the north-south and east-west intersection of four freeways, 94, 29, 00, and 53. Our neighbors are Walmart, Edward Jones Investment, McDonald's, and a Quick Trick truck stop. A large part of this development, however, was built on land, which we gave to the state in exchange to the promise that they never again come against me and take any more of my land. Next, they broke that promise and made me pay a developer fee to the town of Halley in the amount of $55,000 with the promise that if I paid the illegal fee, they would not take my land. Promise is broken. I always keep bending but they continue to be the camel that keeps on sneaking into my tent. Alas, this also was not meant to be upheld. I paid the fee in full, and they took the land anyway, but not until they had filled in the curb culverts and cut down a whole row of ancient pine trees. Next, they drove 50 dump trucks across my driveway, crushing it and my entire irrigation system, and they wood chipped 500 black walnut trees that I had just planted in the back acres. They planned this dust storm of 50 trucks after business hours in order to ruin painting that I was doing outside on my farm. They said that the bean counters of the town and Wogernese told them to do this all, that a woman would never take them to court, and even if I did, it would not cut them as much as, quote, doing things the right way. I hired a lawyer to defend these actions, and attorney Dave Raley admitted to the State Bar of Wisconsin 
as receiving $330,000 in compensation from these individuals to throw my case. My case disappeared and I was never given a trial to save my lamb. They shot my pigs and cows, poisoned my daughter's baby lamb, and stole my Bible. Serious. Now the reason they want to develop this property is to develop it for hotels and restaurants. Their modus operandi is to eliminate a single woman from the bargaining table. I was never allowed to even attend a town meeting regarding the disposition of the property because I am a single woman. I offered to develop it into anything they wanted. They refused. Pete Lehman, town president, walked himself into my kitchen and into my house without being asked and told me, no, you cannot come to the town meeting. This is a boys club and we will tell you later what we are going to do with your property. Now you are thinking, how is this possible? Easy. The bad guys control the political mechanism of the cheesy Howley Town Board. A shyster, David Wargenese, who calls himself a developer, paid Pete Lehman, president of the town board, $50,000 to take my property away while my daughter and I were on a missionary trip to South America. By the way, two other people in town were also paid $50,000 each to consummate this scheme of illegal land fraud. Wogernese told me, bra bragging, that he had paid out some $2,750,000 in bribes to various individuals to take away my land. He said, it's not about the money. He said it is the game, and it doesn't matter how much he pays, he will not lose to a woman, and that he will not negotiate with a woman. The town and one paid off of town officials said, find a man to stand up for you. If you cannot find a man, then we can do anything we want to you. This is why I have made this marriage proposal. Can you help? Will you please help? Are you my man? The town board and David Wogernese and his men would come to our house and stand over us as we pulled weeds from our vegetable patch and discuss what they were going to build, acting as if we weren't even there. The local police had to remove them multiple times. They were very bold in their threats and acts against us very comfortable that they had paid the three men $50,000 each to take away our homesteaded family farm. They continue to take every property my family owns to destroy us mentally and financially because their bean counters told Pete that a woman would never stand her ground all the way to court. They said, I need to find a man to stand by me or they will take away all the properties that my family owns. Isn't there an attorney out there who wants a case that they could retire on? Maybe you know of one and can win this marriage proposal contest. Maybe you have some free time to call newspapers. Write, please, or call your local newspapers or telephone television reporters. Somebody has got to have the cojones to stop these Croonies, are you my man? These maniacal men cut down the electrical poles to our farm right in the middle of Wisconsin winter so that the pipes would freeze and maybe us as well. The pipes burst in 38 places and the toilets all split in half. The meat in our freezer rotted. In the middle of this turmoil, one day, they intentionally ran over me with a forklift in a local store. I ended up in emergency back surgery, followed by five weeks in and out of a coma. I was immobilized on a floor for four and a half years, unable to walk even, and to this day have suffered eight strokes as a result of them trying to get rid of me and hide this $20 million theft of my farm. Distraught that they had tried to kill me, and robbed our home of everything we owned, right down to personal irreplaceable photos and our coats and our shoes. We decided because of this, if they were going to try to kill me or steal everything I owned and leave my family destitute, 
that we would give what was left to God. So we went on several missionary trips to South America. The head general of Peru and his president honored my young daughter and I in front of a crowd of 88,000 people in the stadium and televised live to 264 countries, calling us their greatest American ambassadors for loving and helping the people of South America. We began writing sermons for 500 churches in South America and Mexico. But when we returned home a few weeks later to find others living in our home and on our little farm, our animals and corrals, corrals had been stolen and our pets killed. We were never given any notice of this construction addiction. They stole everything from our work truck to our motorhome. Sadly, the motorhome could have provided us with some shelter. But they didn't want this. They wanted total destruction. They want us to be homeless and have no ability to earn an income to feed my family. They want to destroy me so no one will hear my story. Can you please help me? Will you be the man to stand up for me? Hun Wenberg lived at store weird things. They took our high heels, our great grandma's dishes, my daughter's fifth grade art projects. They told us they did this to demoralize us and mentally make us mentally defeated so that we would not tell anyone our story and what they had done to us. They next threatened to jail us and withhold my meds until my heart dies if I tell anyone that they steal my land. Their bean counter said that no woman would be able to stand all the way through court. Is there an attorney you know of that won't want to help me and my poor sweet daughter? We even tried to sell the property, but mid-sale, the boys club redrew all property lines and killed the sale of any of my property to pay off the small $53,000 loan that was on the property. I have letters from the local bank saying that I was paid ahead on my land $29,000 and never ever had a single late payment. The loan was one that Pete Lehman and m &I Bank said they gave to me to help my cows on the little land that they had left me after absconding with most of the land and selling it to the state to build freeways. We gave our land to help everyone get the freeways that the hound wanted to build. But now all these folks who made our town what it is are being thrown into the street. My daughter and I have been without heat and frozen pipes over the winter, and they have tried to starve us out too. They broke in and stole and trashed the canned goods in our pantry. They poisoned our garden four times. We have always tried to help others. I spent many years putting on medical conventions all over the world, three cities a day, for years to help every grandma and grandpa in the world who needed an aortic stent for an aneurysm get free medical devices and surgery. My family also did artery repair on anyone shot in the line of duty. For all the work I did, I only took 350 to 500 per week for groceries. My family has been in newspapers numerous times for cooking for various police and fire departments. Now I am looking for someone to help me. They want me to get a man to stand by me. Is that man you? Will the right man please stand up? Contact Ellie White, care of General Delivery, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, 54702. And please post to Facebook to all your friends, asking them to share this YouTube video, The Wedding Proposal. Please call also your newspaper television reporters, real estate or business attorneys, and help me please save my farm. Thank you.